Well, praise the Lord. Of course, my name is Pastor Roland Cooper, the senior pastor of Destiny Life Center International Church, and this is my wife, Patricia. Of course, this ministry started in 2017, and God has given us a vision for this community. For years, we've been plugging away there in the city of Boston, but the Lord called us to come to the city of Brockton to join with the other pastors and other spiritual leadership of this city to bring about the transformation that God wants. And therefore, this prayer walk today is a sign of what the Lord has called us to do as we are praying for, uh, for the school system. We are praying for peace in the school system. We are praying for peace within the economy. We are praying for peace among families and peace among the spiritual leadership uh, and peace among the spiritual leadership of this city. So, of course, we expect God to do a wonderful thing today as we continue this prayer walk in Jesus' name. My name is Pat Cooper, Patricia Cooper. God, uh, God sent us in this community because he loved this community. He loved the people in the community. And we see what God is getting ready to do. He's getting ready to transform this community. The elderly, the, the, the school, the system, the young people who are searching and looking for love in the wrong places, who don't understand themselves, is so much confusion. But even as we walk today, we are declaring favor in this community. We are believing that God is going to transform this community and teach people how to love each other where there is no love anymore. Some of you do not believe in the Bible, but if you all can just take the time and read the book of Matthew chapter 24, you will understand many, many, many things. Why? Because the way we are turning against each other, the way we are fighting against each other, we do not know why. But if you take time and you read that book, you will, un you will understand many things parents against children and system against system. We don't know why and we are just searching different resources how to fix the problem. But it will not fix because Jesus, he is the answer for the world today. And if you can just turn to that book, Matthew chapter 24, you will see many, many answers so that God sent us here for such a time like this because he is going to help us to love each other like we used to. He will help us if we could just commit our life to him. So we are not here by accident. We are here to pray for this community that God is getting ready to transform and we will be able to show love to each other again. Thank amen, you. Amen. And remember that people are our business. God bless you. Hello, I am Pastor Terrence Johns, and this is my wife, Pastor Donna Johns. We are part of Destiny, but we're also part of the community. And as we come out to walk today, even though it's raining, we recognize that God is here in the midst of this walk. We are praying for peace. We are praying for revival. We are praying for success for the community of Brockton. And we are expecting God to move and to see miraculous, miraculous activities happen through this walk and into the future. God bless you. Praise God. Yes, as a part of this house, Destiny Life Center International, we've been called to reach out to the lost in the communities. And so we see ourselves as the people of God called by him to demonstrate God's love, to pray and intercede. For he said, if we humbled ourselves and pray, turn from our wicked ways, that he would heal our land. So we are trusting God for miracles and healing of this land, healing of this community and any community that we are engaged in. Amen. Good morning. My name is Pastor Don Cummings, and this is my wife, Anita Cummings, Pastor Anita Cummings, and we are part of Destiny Life Center International, and, and we're over the mission and outreach ministries. And our, our purpose today for this community is just to do what the Bible tells us, to go into all the world and preach the gospel, to reach the lost at any cost. And that is our purpose today, to not only pray for peace, but to reach those that, that are confused and those that are uh, despair, so we can give them hope, that we can give them uh, 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 a life more than what they're experiencing so that they can live 
a victorious life and walk in peace. So that is our prayer today as we, we look forward to this uh, prayer walk. Good morning. And as we go out into the community this morning, we're going in and claiming the east, west, north, and south as the Lord has commanded us. So we hope to meet each and every one there. And in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Hello, my name is Pastor Yaron Israel, and this is my wife, Pastor A. Gail. And uh, one thing I want to just highlight and say, it's really a blessing, and I'm thankful that we are part of a church, Destiny Life Center International, who's thinking about community. And uh, it's not just a slogan, people are our business, but it's actually a reality. And it's a reality that we're actually showing the community. You know, I feel very strongly that uh, as a Brocktonite, someone who lives in the community, uh, the church has to reach out to the community. Um, There's so many churches in this community, and I'm just thankful that we, Destiny Life Center International, are actually a church that's actually uh, having that, those arms out and showing the community that we are actually here for the community. Thank you. As he said, I'm, I'm Pastor A. Gale. I oversee the evangelism department here at Destiny. And also Pastor Ron is over the uh, music and the worship here at the church. And we are Brockton residents. We're very excited about um, Destiny Life Center International when it came to the city and their passion for the people. And um, we just believe that this event and those that we've been having uh, throughout the years, we're new to the community, um, but we're looking forward to connecting with the city officials, the civic organizations, and those throughout the city that will that will stand in the gap with us as we propel ourselves towards peace and towards unity in the community. So we want to celebrate today. This earmarks a time where we want to get out there and create the awareness and not just say, as my husband stated, that just to say it as a theme or a slogan, but we are sincerely um, saying that people are our business. So thank you. Hello, I'm Pastor Scott. I work with the youth here at Destiny Life Center International. Besides working the youth in this setting here at the church, I also work with the youth professionally as a professional educator, as well as a father. My children go to the schools here in the city of Brockton. And I just wanted to speak as one who works with the next generation, one who is having the next generation experience what's happening. You, you know you've heard of what's going on in the city, but not just the city, but all around in communities, right? We see how the schools, and I'm one in the schools, we see how the schools are not preparing our students. But it's not us who are the educators, it's not the schools, it's not the system who's at fault. But you see, there's an interesting story that Jesus shared in the scriptures where he talked about when an unclean spirit is cast out and that house is left empty, seven more spirits come in and when they find it left empty, they make their home in there and the condition is much worse. And Jesus said, so it would be with this generation. And so what has occurred is we have stripped the foundation. We're trying to build a house without a foundation for our next generation, our young people. We have stripped them of the foundation of truth. And if they have no truth, if they have no moral compass to guide them, how can we provide them with the skills and, and prepare them for a future when they have no guide for what is right and what is wrong? And we see the devastation and we see it in the news all across, the violence that's occurring in our schools. We, we, we see they're unprepared for their futures and we're looking for answers in curriculum. We're looking for answers in testing and standards, but that's not the answer. So we're here today to take back what needs to happen. We need to turn back to the truth. We need to bring back the truth into schools, into our communities, into our neighborhoods and bring back that Jesus and the truth that he taught is what our next generation needs. And that's why I have to say to you, thank you. Good afternoon. Well, good morning. I am uh, Pastor Donovan Sorrendo. I'm one of the newer members here at Destiny Life Center International. And let me tell you something. There are many congregations throughout the Brockton and Boston area. And they all have different agendas. But I believe the agenda for DLCI is about the people. Uh, People are their business, and I think it's important for us to understand that even when Jesus came on the face of the earth, his focus was his father's business, which was people. And I believe that's something that we have to uh, primarily, as believers, 
believers, as Christians, really focus on bringing the, the kingdom of God down to people where they can experience the heavenly blessings of God. So uh, it's been a pleasure. It's been a blessing being here. I, I thank God for uh, Apostle uh, Roland Cooper, who is focused. He has a heart for God. And I believe that, you know, when the Bible talks about that I have pastors uh, after my own heart, that's one of them, and his focus is really not to uh, big up his name, as you may say, or, or, or expand DLCI, but to expand the kingdom of God here on, on, on earth. And people are the uh, center of all that. So I, I, I'm praying that as we do this walk this morning, that people of Brockton would see that change is on its way, and it's for the betterment. And we are hoping that individuals as yourself who are looking, who are actually brought tonight, as they said, would participate in this change. And, you know, listen, we're going to be doing this uh, another year. So if you don't make it this year, we got next year and the year upcoming before that. So I pray that God will keep you and guide you in the process of this. God bless you and hope to see you soon. Amen.